In this corner of Lithuania, they know their enemy well. On the other side of this border fence, the Russian territory of Kaliningrad. Highly sensitive, we're only allowed this close with an official escort. The Russian border post sits at the western end of the Savalki Gap, an area some say has the potential to be one of the most dangerous places on Earth. So you can see the Russian territory in the background, but on the map, I can show you why this area is sometimes called NATO's Achilles heel. And that's because this is the Savalki Gap. At one end, we've got Russian territory. At the other, we've got Belarus, where Russian troops are posted. And the theory is if President Putin wanted to escalate this war further, he could essentially send troops from both east and west, cutting off the Baltic states from the rest of NATO. While there's no sign of panic in the sleepy border town of Vishtitas, there's also no forgetting Russia houses troops and likely nuclear weapons next door. We hear helicopters, also maybe the tanks shooting. Former military man Vilius is now the town's doctor. We are afraid because if the Ukraine falls, we have a big problem. Why? Because the Russians will come also. To you? Yes, to, to us from Kaliningrad, also from Belarus. But some people, they are prepared to, to leave uh, Lithuania to the Poland. Lithuania is a NATO member, but the war in Ukraine's put people on edge. Volunteer militias have seen a surge in applicants willing to defend their country. Mindorgas is training to fight Russians in Ukraine for the second time this year. He's lived under Soviet occupation, never again. The Russians won't come back here, he tells me. I will be one of those who will not let them come back. But at the far end of the Savalki Gap, there's another potential danger zone. Russian troops currently stationed over the fence in Belarus could quickly cross this border if Putin ever decided to attack. Savalki Gap is a, is a critical point. While the government says there's no suggestion of invasion now, the risk remains. So we must be prepared all the time. Uh, in uh, short term, would say a risk, a risk uh, and uh, Russian capabilities are mid lower, but the risk of escalation is higher. And uh, that's why we have to prepare every moment for, for something to happen. And so Lithuania remains poised, watching its borders, reinforcing its defences, prepared to respond with the full force of NATO if that day ever comes. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News, Lithuania.